Still ahead tonight on Time Warner Cable 8 News at 7. From the noble, gentlemanly art of fencing to full-on warfare, our VIP Chicago's got you covered. That and more coming up after the break. Time now for our VIP Chautauqua with Cable 8's James Reed. Tonight, in part two of our profile of the Shire of Herentier, James introduces you to one of the founding members who explains how she became the group's fencing marshal. When I had the opportunity to be queen, uh, one of the things they did is uh, every queen has a guard, and my guard gave me this beautiful epée. Uh, it was absolute, absolutely gorgeous. It was a custom-made weapon. And I thought to myself, how can I have such a beautiful weapon and not use it? So I did, and I took up fencing. I've been doing it now for about a dozen years, and I just love it. I trained from a lady locally for a bit, but mostly I travel. So I travel to Johnstown, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, Buffalo, New York, and they all have local SCA groups, so I go and learn from other fencers. So can just anybody pick up the art of fencing? It very much depends on the person. There are people who pick it up right away, who just have a warrior's instinct, and there are others who start very tentative, who need, who need to learn the process very slowly. Uh, they need to do drills, and uh, they need to be taught how to hit other people safely. And of course, safety is a prime concern, so appropriate armor is a must. Absolutely. In fact, we have uh, requirements society-wide, so if you uh, fence anywhere in the society uh, across the nation, there are certain pieces of gear that are required for everybody. Uh, beyond that, the regional group sets some of their own rules. So where does one go about obtaining armor? Actually, there is uh, quite a booming business for things in the SCA for the different pieces of equipment, both fencing and, and the other. Uh, and the Internet, of course, has been wonderful now. We're able to connect with each other uh, when our local area maybe doesn't have some place that sells that. And as to your weapon of choice... Some people fight with very light weapons, maybe an epee or a foil. Uh, those are more like Olympic fencing and modern fencing. Uh, much of what we do now uh, is we've moved on to heavier rapier blades that better simulate medieval weapons. So they're a bit wider, a bit heavier, and they have different cross sections. They behave a little differently. Uh, we also sometimes will fight with things other than just a sword. We might fight with a sword and a dagger or a sword and a buckler. Now, if you're interested in seeing a demonstration of these kind of skills, you might check out the group's annual Harvest Raid event taking place at Lake Chautauqua Lutheran Center this weekend. But as Herentier Seneschal Brian Newman tells us, you'd better come prepared. Uh, we have a draw of somewhere around 300 people where we'll be doing the combat activities. Uh, the uh, king and queen will be there. Uh, they'll be holding court later in the day. The public is absolutely welcome to come up, but we are not a spectator sport. If you come up to uh, participate with us, that's ex exactly what we want. We want you to participate. We want you to put on garb, and we want you to come out and enjoy yourself for the day. All right, thanks, James. Now, for more information on the Shire of Herentier and their upcoming Harvest Raid event, you can find them online via the website listed there on your screen. And be sure to join us again next week for the third and final part of our profile.